Good evening, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It is 9.39 in the evening on Tuesday, November 23rd. 9.40 p.m. in the evening on Tuesday, November 23rd, 2021. And we have uh, the world earthquake forecast for a few different countries. Let's start with uh, what has happened. Let's go to, uh, let's see here, right here. So this was our forecast for Japan. We had a 98% uh, risk here. This is the highest risk area, the hot spot for Northeast Japan for a significant, significant earthquake uh, here in Sendai, right here northeast of Sendai. And this is what happened, 5.0 earthquake right there, northeast of Sendai, right about right in here in the 98% risk area. as a 5.0 earthquake hit there. All right, let's go to the uh, current forecast. We have a warning out for the San Francisco Bay. Um, the risk level is extremely high right now in the San Francisco Bay. Expecting a, a major earthquake in the San Francisco Bay, uh, uh, most likely to hit uh, during the next 72 hours. And the best chance for it to hit is on November 25th, which is what, uh, Thursday or Friday? Thursday or Friday, 25th or 26th, is the most significant, uh, most uh, likely time for this uh, major earthquake to hit, but it could hit any time during the next 72 hours. Risk level is growing uh, rapidly in this area near San Francisco Bay. Um, it may hit down in uh, the area northwest of LA, down in this area here. However, uh, the highest risk right now is in the San Francisco Bay down to Santa Cruz and San Simeon, centered right there in the San Francisco Bay. Uh, so if you have friends or family that live in the San Francisco Bay, be on alert in that area for a, a very strong earthquake during the next 72 hours, most likely on the 25th or 26th. All right, let's take a look at the Alaska forecast here. Uh, the risk, as we said in the last forecast, was in uh, the Kodiak Island area. And let's zoom in in that area there. And we had a, uh, let's see here. Significant, uh, nothing above 4.5, but we've had some significant uh, action here. Uh, 4.1 offshore of Kodiak Island and a 3.9 right here near Kodiak Island. So six, some uh, significant earthquakes in this area. That's where the risk remains uh, for tonight. And we'll have an update on this forecast tomorrow. And uh, once again, in the San Francisco Bay area here, a major earthquake is likely during the next 72 hours, most likely on November 25th or 26th. Uh, a very dangerous situation there in, uh, it's in the San Francisco Bay. Uh, the data that's coming in is uh, rarely happens. It's, it's rarely happens you see that kind of uh, magnetic shift in that area, so, so expecting a very strong earthquake in the San Francisco Bay during the next 72 hours. Let's take a look at the uh, forecast for Japan. And the risk is shifted down into the Tokyo area. And um, we could get about a 5.0 earthquake in the uh, Tokyo region. Let's look at the four. Uh, so could get a uh, 5.0 large earthquake in the Tokyo Bay, uh, the Tokyo uh, Chiba area up to Ibaraki, down to Shizuoka here, most likely in the uh, Tokyo area uh, during the next uh, about 48 hours, the 24th or the 25th. And it's already in the afternoon of the 24th over there right now. So expecting something significant in the Tokyo area in the next 48 hours. And then the pretty high risk offshore on the 25th into the 26th. So we'll watch for that to happen during the next uh, 48 hours or so. And over in uh, Italy, the risk is here in central east 
central Italy, very high risk in Umbria, Perugia, east central uh, Italy during the 24th and the 25th, and over in Japan. No, in uh, Greece, Greece forecast. We're getting a really strong area of uh, risk here in central uh, Greece. This is uh, where Athens, Greece is right here. So southeast of Athens, this area right here from Western Turkey over to uh, Athens, there's this area here, uh, extremely high risk in that area in central Greece. So we've got a lot of action happening around the world. Excuse me, the uh, very high risk in the uh, San Francisco Bay and uh, that risk in uh, East Central Italy and um, over in uh, Greece, this risk in Central Greece and this Japan has this risk near Tokyo. Once again, in the uh, California, looking for a major earthquake, this situation, I haven't seen this kind of situation since, uh, well, the Napa earthquake produced a 6.0. It was a similar situation in this area. That was 6.0 on August 24th, 2014. But a very dangerous situation, the magnetic shift that's going on uh, in the San Francisco Bay Area right now down to Santa Cruz and San Simeon is extremely strong. So be on alert in San Francisco Bay for a strong earthquake during the next uh, 48 hours, 72 hours, most likely on the uh, 25th or the 26th. All right. Thanks again for your support here at QuakePrediction.com, the Earthquake Forecast Center. We have 184,000 followers now on uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And we have been researching this for almost 17 years, 16 years total. And going into the 17th year, starting in uh, December. So thank you so much for your support. And um, We've used many different forecast models in the past. The forecast model that we were using in Japan has been working extremely well. So we're using that forecast model now in California, Alaska, Italy, and Greece. So we're getting more and more accurate every day. 16 years of research, 184,000 followers. Thank you to every one of you. And we will keep you updated. The, uh, the most significant and serious situation right now is the area southeast of Athens, Greece very high risk in that area. And also the, uh, the most dangerous situation right now is in the San Francisco Bay to Santa Cruz and San Simeon, where the entanglement of the magnetic field is extremely strong. Um, and that needs to release. And when that uh, magnetic field releases, it produces a very strong earthquake. And depending on how uh, bound up the magnetic field is, and that's what uh, is happening in San Francisco Bay area, the magnetic field is uh, very tight and bound up. Um, similar to a sunspot on the sun, you have that magnetic field is tangled. And when the magnetic field uh, breaks, it creates a solar flare. Well, the same thing on Earth, when that magnetic field releases, you'll get a strong earthquake. So strong earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay during the next 72 hours, most likely on November 25th or November 26th. Stay tuned and check over at our website, quickprediction.com for more details. And we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much again. This is Luke Thomas at quickprediction.com, the Earthquake Forecast Center. Stay safe, everybody.